Okay, maiden voyage of the MiG-140 titanium. I did a flux core job yesterday. There, There's the, the unit right there. So just briefly, I brought my tools, my grinder. Briefly, what happened was the framework on this uh, boat frame, the uh, leaf springs were broken, broken clear in half. You can see where I grinded down the weld right there. So I welded that. Let's see if you can get a basic idea of what it looks like. So this was completely off and I just had to clamp it, tack it, and then weld it from, from underside this way and then well, the points right there with the titanium MiG-140. Um, and it's held up, as you can see. It hasn't been taken out because I just did it yesterday. I didn't get a chance to film it because I was busy. I was doing my thing. But I could have filmed it. But bottom line is uh, the heat transfer was excellent. It got very hot as, as I needed for the cold world steel because that's all it was. Those leaf springs are just really thin steel cold rolled steel and I, I was using 14.9 volts I adjusted the uh, wire feed speed to what I needed and I just used flux core because we're outside so that's perfect for a flux cord situation FCOF flux cord arc welding MIG metal inert gas gas metal arc welding so this inverter power source uh, wire feeder and gun package for the MIG 140 for the titanium Excellent output, excellent, very, very well done. Definitely pleased with it. I do recommend it, highly recommend it for anybody who's a, a hobbyist or doing small repairs at home. It's an excellent unit. Worked just great. I left, I left some wire sticking out right there on purpose because I have the, the spool is still attached inside. Let me show you. So there's the spool. Still have it attached. The wire's still going in there. Just have a measuring thing in there, like a tape measure. So there's the wire going into the unit. I just left it clamped. Makes it easier so the next time if I have to use flux cord, it's already set up. If I have to switch it to solid core for MIG, I'm going to need a gas bottle, which I don't have at the time at the moment, for some 75, 25 gold gas, which is, uh, you know, argon and CO2 mix. That'll be next. But as a flux cord setup for what you just saw on that boat, it worked perfectly. Really, really good job. It took me with setup, grinding welding i don't know 20 minutes total 25 tops no big deal just plug it in and go it was excellent 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 and that's all i got late